Oh, man. <clears throat> Let's talk about lust. <sighs> Bro, lust sucks. Like, for real. Like, that junk is butt. Literally. <laughs> that, I feel like that's going to be so corny when I upload this. But that sounded way funnier in my head. I'm sorry. I apologize. But no, lust actually sucks. It's terrible. And I think what makes it so bad is that you can't run from your own body. Because Paul says um, in 1 Corinthians, he's talking about how lust is the only sin that you've committed against yourself. <clears throat> you know, it's the only sin you can commit against yourself that you can commit against your body. And that's what makes it so hard because you're always in your body and you're always in your thoughts, you know? Like, it's not like other sins like smoking, drinking, cussing, stuff like that, where changing your environment can help a lot, you know? When you struggle with smoking, you can just stop hearing people who smoke, stop being around smoke, struggle with drinking, stop hearing around people who drink, stop going to parties for real, you know? Just keep to yourself a little more, change your surroundings and crowd, like the same thing with cussing, stop hearing around people who always cuss, changing your surroundings with people who are slower to speak and think more before talking, you know? And you can stop listening to stuff like secular music that's always cussing and talking about bad things in it. But lust? Bro, lust? Well, yes, you can stop doing other things. You're still with your body. You're always with your thoughts. And lust is one of those things that it just comes to your head out of nowhere. And it's, it's so hard to fight. And I'm not saying other sins are. Every sin that you enjoy to do is going to be hard to fight when you come to Christ because your flesh is so used to it. But lust is one of those things that's like, as long as you're in Christ, you're gonna wanna do it. Cause it's such a simple and easy sin to do. Like, you don't need anyone else's help to do that. Like, even when it comes to say, like smoking, let's say you grow your own, you still have to go like, you have to find that somewhere in the world. When it comes to lust, all you need to do is exist. Like, that's all it is. All you have to do is simply exist. And that's what makes it so hard. And once it enters your head and then it gets into your heart, man, I'm sorry. You're done. That's not true. You're not done. You're not done. I was trying to be funny. I'm sorry. I'm a very bad joke. You're not done. But it's very hard to come out of things once they enter your heart. It's like the Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things. When people tell you follow your heart, don't, don't follow your heart. That's a terrible idea. That's only going to lead you down a path to destruction. I'm sorry. It's not gonna help. Like, don't don't follow your heart. Do not follow your heart. Follow Christ. You're welcome. That's a great tip. Follow Christ. But yeah, no, it's it's very hard. Like, here's an example. So let's say I got this ball paper, right? And let's say these are lustful thoughts. And let's let's say I'm I'm don't OD it. This is just an example. I'm the only animate object in front of you right now. Let's use our create creativity and imaginations. I'm just gonna say I'm a legion of lust right now. Don't, don't get in here calling me a legion of lust. That's not what I am. I rebuke in the name of Jesus. But yeah, so let's say like, these are lustful thoughts, right? I'm so glad I caught that. Cause if I didn't catch that, that would've been very embarrassing. But <laughs> let's say these are thoughts of lust, right? And you just, you know, you going about your day, mind your business, you're folding clothes, YouTube video playing in the background. You get a text, you go on your phone for about two minutes. All of a sudden lust, it just takes us throws it at you and now look at you thinking about things that had no business being in your mind. Now all of a sudden you think about BBLs and Twitter. You don't even have Twitter. You don't even know why it's on your mind. It just came out of nowhere. You weren't even looking at anything to do that. But yeah, that's really what it is. Like that's how simple it is for lust. It just, it just throws it at you. And all of a sudden you're thinking about things and you don't want to be thinking about it. Now you gotta start rebuking it. It's, it's hard, man. It's not easy. It's not an easy task. Because it's so easy for, for those things to enter into your mind. And once they enter into your mind, the more you think about it, then the more it starts to manifest in your head. And once it manifests in your head to the point of reaching your heart, it's like, bro, now I'm going to do it. You don't even know why. Like, yeah, like, okay, it feel good, but it's not even worth it. I know how I'm going to feel after. I know it hurts God. I know the effects that it does to me after, but I still want to do it. It's like, why? That's, like, that's, that's what's crazy about it. That's what's so crazy about it. That's why I hate it, bro. I hate it. And it's, it's not a shock because, bro, I struggle with it too. Like, we're all human. I struggle with it too. I'm not making this video trying to be like, oh, well, I don't struggle with us. I don't talk to y'all about it. No, I'm a human just like y'all. I'm a Christian just like y'all. The enemy is attacking me just like y'all. We're all human. We're not going to win every battle. It's about winning the war. It's about winning in the end, which God will ultimately do. That's to say, I'm not saying I'm perfect. Like, y'all. Or, I'm like, what? I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm just like, you know, that's what I'm trying to say. How do we combat that? Personally, I know the three most important things you need to do when it comes to the Bible and going closer to Christ is prayer, Bible, and fasting. But I honestly think the best way to combat lust is fasting. Let's really, let's really talk about it. What is fasting? Forcing things that your body enjoys or that you yourself enjoy and saying, hey, we're not going to do it because I said so. That's literally what it is. Let's say like 
eating. You want a no food fast. There's nothing wrong with eating food, but you're telling your body, we're just not gonna eat because I said so. And it's learning to take control over your body so that when you have those other urges, it's like, no, I'm not gonna do it because I said so. Like, it's as simple as that. That way you're not letting your flesh win because you have control over your flesh. You're able to tell it no. That's honestly what I think. Now, of course, prayer and being in your word, those are very important too because yes, you need to pray to God because the only person that can really defeat it is Jesus. Like, you need Jesus to fight that battle for you. You need God to help you and teach you, talk to you about like how to deal with those things. You need to be in your words so you can understand what exactly is so wrong with lust and then also how fasting works and also ways you can combat it. Like, Paul tells us to flee from it. He doesn't tell us to combat it. He tells us to flee from it. You don't fight those temptations. You run from them when they present themselves. That's what it is. But most importantly, at least to me, when it comes to overcoming lust, it's fasting because you're literally just telling your body, no, because I said so. We're not going to do it because I said so. So then when lust comes and you know that's a bad thing, it's easier to say no because I said so. Like, it's it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Now, it's not that easy, but the concept of it is that simple. But yeah, that's, that's, my, little, that's my little take on lust. The whole purpose of this is like, I'm not trying to have no super long videos, at least not right now. But my thing is, when it comes to this, I want to start a new series called Let's Talk About I'm going to have subjects and topics and we're going to talk about them. Now, of course, I'm not going to sit here for 10 minutes talking to you about lust. I'm not like, I'm just here to talk about it real quick, say my little two cents on how I feel about it and how to combat it. That's what it is. That's what the series is going to be. So let's believe when this video upload and y'all watch it. By the way, if you're watching, thank you. You made it this far. I really appreciate you. Twin. 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 <laughs> Twin. Bro, I really appreciate you. I really appreciate your support. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. But yeah, y'all watching it, I'm going to put up a poll. Like, hey, what's some other topics y'all want me to talk about? Let me know. Let me know. I'm really going to try and get better with this YouTube thing. I'm, I'm trying. It's a fight. It's a struggle. But you see, this will be my third video this year. It's better than last year. I only had two last year. Yeah, it's progress. <laughs> hey, progress. <laughs> but yeah, so that's, that's all for the video right now. Like, just when it comes to us, also a reminder, don't get on yourself when you do fall into it. It happens. You're human. Let's be honest, most of the people watching this video are like 16 through 21, maybe 22. You're a human. Chill on yourself. Like, I promise you, the, the enemy we're fighting has been alive for thousands of years. Thousands. There's a being who knows the Bible like the back of his hand. He was up there with God at one point. You're only 22 at the oldest, maybe 23. If you're above 25 watching my videos, hey, I appreciate the support. It's a little shocking, but I appreciate the support nonetheless. But at the end of the day, even the oldest people in the world have only been alive for what, about 100 something years. We're fighting an enemy that's been alive for thousands. Thousands. Chill on yourself. You're just a human. Chill on yourself. When you do fall into it, it's okay. No, okay, let me correct myself. That, I'm not saying like, do it. Like, it's not okay to do it, but like, when you fall, just relax, relax. You're good. God don't hate you, he still loves you. Just keep going, keep pushing yourself and keep trying to be better and growing more in Christ, all right? That's all it is. It's as simple as that. I love you all, thank you for watching the video. If you wanna subscribe, go ahead. <laughs> hey, it doesn't, it doesn't cost you anything. <laughs> go ahead, thumbs it up too as well. And I appreciate y'all, catch y'all in the next one. And again, leave me some topics you want me to cover and talk about. I need a better outro than that. I don't know. We're going to figure something out. We'll figure something out when it happens. But right now, I'll catch y'all the next one.